All right, so something has happened to me after 30 plus years of shooting that's never happened before. I actually had this scope right here move on me. And what I mean by that is I was shooting it and had great groups, and then at one point I shot and it shot low, so I cranked it up a notch or two, and shot it again, and it still shot low. So I cranked it up a notch or two, and it hit the same place again, and I'm like, man, I busted this scope, uh, the internals, this isn't adjusting when I spin it. Well, I went to turn down this for some reason. I don't know, remember why, but I wanted to turn that down and it wouldn't spin. And I looked and saw that it was hitting the back of this rail right here. And it dawned on me that I had fixed that the week before and that it had moved back into place. And that's when it hit me that these scope rings right here, I actually was tightening them down all the way on both sides to where there was no... They were tightened down all the way on both sides where they were touching steel on steel. There was no gap like there is now. And it hit me that even though there was no gap, that even though it was holding the scope tight, it wasn't tight enough to keep the scope barely from moving. So um, that's when it dawned on me that uh, I needed to shim the scope somehow. So what I did is I took the rings off, put a piece of masking tape in and put them back on. And now there's daylight here between the ring and the scope, and when I tighten it, I can tighten it down and know that the full energy of tightening it is holding the scope in place. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take a little X-Acto knife, and I'm going to cut the extra masking tape that's sticking out off, because, you know, masking tape that's visible on your gun is not as tactical as uh, some things should be. And, you know, we all have to look good. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take that off. There we go. That looks so much nicer. I might go in there with a little bit of a uh, dark black uh, paint and paint that up to, to lose the look. Or I might not. I might just leave it. I mean, not a huge deal. This isn't a fashion contest. I'm not going into any actual shoots to where anyone would look at it and go, what on earth is that discoloration there? And, all that so uh, there's that now I do have one concern and the one concern I do have is that even with the masking tape in and it tightened down to where it's actually got the full pressure on it is that it still might move I mean it is a possibility and I am going on an important hunt and what if it gets what if I drop it or get it jarred while I'm out uh, hunting and so that's why uh, right back here, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife in the back because it moved forward and I am going to form a tiny little scratch, okay? Okay, so I got that baby scratched right behind that ring and I can always take my uh, uh, bluing and stuff and, and make the scratch disappear. Uh, this scope is a functional scope, not a fashion icon. And with that, that proof mark I put, we'll call it a proof mark, that proof mark I put there, if the scope moves, I can look from the back and see that that notch is moved forward or back and go, uh-oh, my scope's moving, I gotta fix it and adjust it. But that gives me a proof mark to hold to where the scope is. I've also used my wrench to tighten down the side pieces really tight, and I've tightened down the top pieces. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of my Loctite like I did in the last video that I put out, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that right in the groove, right in the groove of that, which again, that's going to help hold it in place. But if I ever have to take it off, it's just going to take a little bit of force to break that little bit of Loctite around the outside and peel it off. It's going to make it a little tighter. So I'm going to do that on both. Now it was very important to put a little bit of glue down on the scope mount because I can't feel that. I mean, what I'm saying is I can't reach down anytime I feel like into the scope mount underneath the scope mount, I mean, and make sure that it's still sealed. So that's the one where the glue is most important. This one I can actually reach up, grab it, and fiddle with it and go, oh, that's loose. 
So I could actually double check that, but let's put a little glue on it for good measure. Uh, wipe the X off, excess off here. Dab it off. And then these right here, these of course are easy because I can just go in anytime I want to and go yep, tight, 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 tight. So these are just little tips I have to reinforce your uh, heavy recoiling rifles to make sure that the scope stays in place so that when you're out in the field, if you drop it or whomp it on something, you have ways to know that you're still going to be on target when you have to take that important shot. Because when, the, when you need a one-shot kill, you don't want to realize that your scope is a quarter inch of, out of caddy wampus. Uh, and these are just a few tips to secure that. So anyway, hope that helps.